Ty, congratulations on the new deal. Um, extended your time with Fulham for uh, at least another couple of years. Are you pleased to get that done? Yeah, no, I'm delighted. Delighted to get it finally over the line. Um, yeah, like I said, I can get I can now focus on my football, and yeah, I'm excited. Oh, so you've been here a few years now. Is it starting to feel a bit like home for you? Yeah, it is. It's home away from home. Like ever since I've come to the Euro- to the UK, sorry, um, I've only ever been at Fulham, so it is. It's home away from home. And how do you look back on, on last season? Because obviously for the club it, it was uh, a really good one. You, you played a bit of football, maybe you would like a bit more. But mm-hmm. on, on the whole, how do you look back at last season? Yeah, it was obviously a very successful season for everyone at the club. Um, yeah, personally I would have liked to play more, but I got injured. Um, but it was great to be a part of that winning group um, and I learnt a lot. And obviously um, your position, it was we were so competitive in the middle of the park. Obviously mm-hmm. Mika came back into the fold, mm-hmm. TC returned from injury. It makes things difficult when you're trying to push that start yeah. in place. No, definitely. But like, look at those players, as you said, they're top, top players. So it was awesome for me to learn from them as well um, every day. So yeah, I look at it as a positive. And you, you came away from it with a championship winner's medal as well. That's yeah. pretty special. Yeah, no, exactly. It's my first. I didn't appear that many times, but look, uh, it's a medal in the cabinet, so I'll take it. <laughs> so what's sort of like the next target for you then, Ty? Um, to play regular first team football um, if that's here or out on loan um, I'll speak to the manager when, when it's time but yeah to play as many minutes as possible and then come back here and fight for my place or um, and see where it takes me mm-hmm. and obviously you got um, you got a, a very brief taste of it but you got Premier League football um, under your belt last time we were in there um, that sort of whet the appetite for hopefully more to come no of course Look, the Premier League is the best league in the world um, and it's where every young player aspires to be so yeah for sure that's a target of mine and just talk to us about your summer because um, obviously you didn't get as much time off the other guys who mm-hmm. playing in the Asia Cup captain in Australia mm-hmm. um, it didn't end how you wanted it to, but from what I understand, personally, it was a pretty successful tournament for you. Yeah, no, it was an awesome experience. It was my first tournament in Asia. Um, the football was different over there, but uh, I played a lot of football. I stayed fit. Um, yeah, and I really enjoyed my time over there. It was a great experience. And obviously, captain in your country or whatever age group must be such a proud moment. Yeah, no, it was, especially for my family. Um, it was a proud moment for them, but also for me. Um, unfortunately, we didn't, we didn't win the tournament, which was the target, but um, we'll take it as a positive. We're speaking to you before you're about to hop on the bus to catch your flight to, to Portugal for the pre-season tour. Um, obviously, last last season, pre-season, you excelled and you're one of our standout performers. That's not why Marco mm-hmm. gave you the, the start in birth against Middlesbrough. I suppose that's all you can do, isn't it? Impress as much as you can in, in these sorts of situations. Yeah, no, especially for all the young boys. Um, it's an awesome opportunity for us to get some game time in front of the manager and impress. And if we do well, then he can throw us into the mix. If not, then uh, we've got to keep trying. And how good is it for you guys to come up against the likes of Nice, Benfica, Villarreal, these are really strong teams and should set us in good stead for the season? Yeah, no, exactly. They're top, top European sides, but we're going to play top European side in the Premier League this season, so it's a great little taste for us um, to do well against some good teams. And there's a decent number of Fulham fans going out there, which is, it says a lot they're going out there to yeah. see you boys whenever they can. No, no, exactly. The support last season especially was amazing, um, and I'm sure it'll be even better this season.